hello everyone so in this video we would like to share how to remove the uh, factory radio in the Holden V Commodore Surrey 2 and this one is 2011 model um, so basically um, the car is a ute and the head unit is here so we first will think about this one is most of the part will be removed just like the Surrey one not much different from there but just a few different you will see along the process but don't be scared it will break too much the basic step the same thing now start with the plastic tube remover too and we will start from the side plastic trim here side trim here and the gearbox stick uh, and the, the gear stick, uh, you know, cover and the plastic cover here and the plastic cover here and then some screw and go on. Okay, so to do the left cover here, you just use the plastic remover tool here, slide at the edge and push it out forward. Make sure you do it gentle but enough force so it will um, get out of all the uh, plastic pin uh, trim tab behind um, don't break it please so it has the trim tab like that that's all it has at the back okay gentle and it will come out nicely the same thing we do on the left side and it will come out easy just like you know uh, what you want but make sure you do it very gentle 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 because they're all plastic so this the left side one um, yeah it has all the same thing at the back now um, we start doing the gear stick area here lift up this piece and then remove this side tab and then keep going flat screwdriver pop this cover out here and another one on the left side put them in a secure place then keep going to unscrew one on that side Second, third, okay, fourth, fifth, okay, so five screw out, and then you will look at the bottom. Okay, there's two the screw at the bottom. One. And two. So basically, this one's pretty much the same as Serion, and then you pop out you know, the bottom cover. Yep, the plastic cover at the bottom. You got it out. And look, you will have the pin on the side. Okay, I need to grab the mic. Touch. At the bottom, we have screw and screw. Okay, so two more screw to release the bottom.
Okay. So two screw at the bottom holding the bottom of uh, the glove box to the frame and now you actually can use this you get this cover side cover off it only hold in by some plastic trim and then you can slide the whole glow box out okay so five screw on the top two screw at the bottom and the screw coming out and now basically what you need to do is you want to disconnect the side connector here which is the white one this very very similar as the Holden VE Surrey one okay white on here and another gray one over here again this very very similar as the V series one now we moved to the other side the right side okay so now we move we move to the right side to remove the main connector for the head unit which uh, at first we use the hand to pull this one out it's just plastic clip and it will come out like that it's flexible so you can drop it there and go down and push it down a little bit more and then you can see over here okay there that is the main um, quad lock cable and another uh, small cable on the side okay big one and small one so we will remove them now So with the quad lock I would say it's tricky because the space is just super narrow You probably want to use the small flyer Small school driver. So, the best is using a flat screwdriver, okay, slide it underneath at the top and then you swing the screwdriver and it actually will pop the main clip up, okay, which actually will slide the cable out very easy. So the most tricky thing is to swing up this plastic clip with the flat screwdriver. All right, so the clip already comes out, and I could see there's another cable over here, which in this case it is this cable. Okay, it has the tap on the top, so press the finger on the top 
and then you slide the second one out now two main cable on the right side done now we focus on the middle section so uh, assume that we already go on the left open the glove box on the right and un unplug all the connector on the right and on the left now we go in the center at first remove the rubber you know uh, storage cover here get it out and then use the plastic trim removal tool get this cover off on the top of the gear stick area and get it out easy but gentle okay be gentle around it will come up now go plastic trim removal tool around the edge of the center console cover here and then go until the end here and you can get this one up and unplug one two and three cable okay front one two of the big one at the back and one at the front and um, so you can see it has just plastic trim removal uh, clip over here but be very gentle because this one very slim you don't want to break any part of that one um, this one is holding the storage here is holding by two screw one two and then you want to remove the side tab the side panel here which actually has another you know um, two more screw one here and one here okay, two of them and after that you can get the storage tray out and basically now you can use the force right wood force from this one including giving the plastic trim removal too a bit more force on the top which actually give the force over here okay and twist and then this one go out from the top and at the bottom you can push it and it comes out like that the same thing now we start doing on the right side and you can see it comes out as well it's tricky because it is plastic clip at the back end and you don't want to bring it when you are doing the job so just be gentle enough I mean enough okay enough gentle and enough force so you can get it out like that that's the main center console at the bottom cover okay and at the back it just have four of the plastic clip and two other guiding clip it's just that but it also holding very firm into the dust thanks hold on for the design now it is exposing the head in it and you need to uh, go sorry I forgot to mention that we need to remove the blue connector on the side as well next to the, the white cable for the antenna okay so on this side we remove the white blue and gray cable on the left side before we can actually slide the head in it out which basically after we remove four screw on the front here you can slide the head in it out easily now this is the time to remove the top part um, so basically we need to remove this grill cover um, it is made of plastic okay not metal so it has the flexible um, that near you know, this flexible frame that uh, you can feel a bit hard to to feel to put it up so what happened is we put the finger down here try to lift it up a little bit I found that it's easier if we use a slide tool like this slide here and then we can push it and make it a little bit gap and then two finger down here and then uh, you know put it very hard up and you can see this there's the uh, plastic tab over here it locks in so do the same thing for the second one on the other side because it is plastic clip this one stay underneath the cover here so it's very hard to go up um, if you do it first time uh, so basically just keep going give the second force into the other side and you know you get it easier a little bit on this side and yeah, things go out like that yeah, okay hopefully you'll see 
seed well and then we get the paper tool underneath or just you know, uh, push it push it okay from the bottom up push it a little bit more and you get the clip up the same thing like this clip you feel like crazy because it's so tricky the clip stay and then it lock all right here you go six clip at the bottom and they stay like crazy okay so feel free to give it a bit of more force at the edge Ash, ash, and ash. You need to give enough force. I mean, a bit more than the one at the bottom because this one stay under the cover here. And with six clips, so you will feel like crazy to put this one up. But it is just like that. So start from this side. I found it easier. And then second and third, and then one here on the top, and one the side and now it's exposing this area which actually is two screw and to un unlock those two screw and then uh, we will slide the cover out so we use this uh, screwdriver to unscrew uh, two screw here on the top and after we unscrew it we actually go down here and use two hands you know give it enough force just do it like this. Let me give the video enough. Okay, here you go. So what we do is we put two hands here at the bottom and and push it outward. Okay, so the, the bottom one will come out uh, because it's sticked into the the back radio frame, and then use the plastic trim remover to put it on the side and push it the same thing here push it and, and it will come out because we already removed two screw here and, and it basically just come out and then you know you push along and and the whole thing will come out like this because it just now you can see at the back it just like this it locked in by plastic clip here clip here and it locked into the back radio by the uh, the locking tab here, locking tab, locking tab, okay. That's the back of the radio, including the frame. And so now we keep going to unscrew one, two, three, and four here and get this radio out. And after that, we unscrew one, two, three, and uh, we get the part here out. And yep. And we get the bottom part detached out of the frame. Uh, what we are doing is we just keep the top uh, plastic frame and air conditioner uh, van here. And we remove the radio uh, screen. We remove the air conditioner control. And we would fit the new system in. All right. So, yep, that's the way we've removed the factory radio from the Holden VE Commodore Surrey 2. Uh, remember again, the tricky part will be the side panel here a little bit tricky and especially the top uh, grill cover for the speaker on the top here it's tricky to lift it up but otherwise everything is very straightforward and and you can see that is pretty much the starting and, and the side walking over here is the same as VE Surrey 1 except the top will be different so here we go we'll see you on the next one